Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer, an evangelist at Microsoft in the UK. And this is my second look at the use of the self-service portal that comes with System Center Virtual Machine Manager. I've done all the data center administrations that I need to. And now I'm ready to start working with the business users. So I'm going to pretend to be one of those users and swap over to another virtual machine. I've got a thing called BI Client here and I'm just going to flip into that and you can see I'm logged in as Andrew in the Contoso domain. And Andrew wants to register a new business unit. Andrew works in the TechNet team in the UK and that's UK TN email addresses. Andrew at Contoso.com. I'm a medium priority I think, quite important. And the final thing here is it's included myself as the domain administrator. So this will be completed by the kind of IT pro that will be working closer to the business, a line of business administrator, if you will. I'm happy with all of that, so I can submit this request. And it goes into my request queue. And I can view my requests here. So let's flip back to be the administrator of the data center. So if I look at the requests here now, I can see Andrew's request has come in, and I can decide to approve or reject it. Say that, and that's fine. And that's going to have changed what Andrew can now do with the self-service portal, as we'll see when we go back and log in as him. I'll just refresh this page. And now you can see I've got requests, infrastructure, virtual machines, jobs, and user roles up here. I look at my request now. That's been approved. And now there are some other things I can do. And the first thing I need to do is to create an infrastructure request. Let's do that now. So my infrastructure might be for the marketing team within my division. A pretty low priority and I just want to get used to doing things for them as a way of getting into this private cloud lock. Then I might set up how much capacity. I think we only need to give them about 16 gigs of RAM and maybe a couple of hundred gigs of disk. I can put some additional information down here and if I want to I can also attach a, a document with more details. Within the infrastructure I now have to create um, service and service roles. And the first thing I need to do is create a service. We'll call it collaboration. It's going into production. My data center is in the UK. This service will use a chunk of the overall request that I made for all of the infrastructure. So I'm reserving space here. And I think this will just need 4 gigs of RAM and about 80 gigs of disk. All of this is used in the chargeback model. Down here I just want to use the internal virtual network because I'm not going outside. And I can put the advanced operators in here and I'm going to chuck myself into that list, although I probably don't need to. But my friend Gordon is a business user, so let's get him in there. I can optionally elect for rapid provisioning. And I now need to add a service role into this. So this is the next level down. This might well be the web service. Again, it'll use the internal network. I don't need a load balancer. I can just save and close that. Okay, I think that's everything there. So now I can just hit next. And at this stage, I get to choose which of the templates I can use within my infrastructure. And I just need basic service for this. So the administrator sets the big long list. Here I can just choose which ones I need in the subset of that. And now I've got everything I filled in earlier, which I can go and edit if I want to. Pretty happy with that. Going to hit submit. Let's jump over to the data center administrator and see what effect that's had on his world. And we can now see this infrastructure request has come in, uh, but before we can approve it we've got some work to do. So let's go through each one of these in turn, starting off with the collaboration piece. It won't let you approve this until it's been sorted out. Actually I don't need to do very much here. I've already set up in SCVMM that I've got a, a host group called All Hosts. I haven't got a SAN. I'm running on my laptop. But I do need to be able to set up the template location. And that's my library server here. 
and my library share. And I'll use all of that again to store my offline shares. Obviously in a larger deployment you'd have separate VMM servers. You can see I get the option to add in extra operators. I might want to put myself in there so I can manage it as well. They might just do that now. Of course with separation of duties that might not ne be necessary or indeed desirable. I've got the internal virtual network already set. That's all fine. He's got his overall quota there and this is using the chargeback mechanism so we can, we can see how much it's going to cost him. Save and close. If you've done it properly it goes green as you can see here. Let's go into the web service now. Just review this. I don't actually need to do anything here. I can just save and close. It's just asking me to go through and review everything. And finally the basic server. Yep, that all looks okay. So now I can approve the request. And now we hop back to being Andrew again. You can see this request has been approved. And now I can go into virtual machines and I can create one. So you can see that these have all been set to the defaults. I've only got one business unit, one infrastructure, one service, one service role. So I've really got a lot of choice here. I can name them with a sequential number. I'm just going to create one. I'll call that UKTN1. I can only choose the basic uh, template, but I could view the properties of it here if I wish to. And you can see it's picking up some things from that template, like the fact it's going to join the Contoso domain. I might just want to say a couple of things about it. Any notes I want to make, I can just add in now. All looks OK, and I can hit Create. And that task is now in the system. So let's dive back over to my Virtual Machine Manager environment. And here I'm looking at the jobs in System Center Virtual Machine Manager, and we can see the Create Virtual Machine task running along here. It's going to take a little while to complete because we've got a copy over the virtual hard disk to the new virtual machine, leaving a copy in the library as a template. So I'm going to let that run and then we'll see what's happened when it's finished. And that's it all complete. So let's go and have a quick look at virtual machines here. We can see our new virtual machine is now alive and running. And you can see it's picked up that CPU specification, the memory, storage, and so on and so forth. And there's the login screen. So that's it from the SCVMN perspective. What does it look like to the user? So if I go back to the business user now, virtual machines here, you can see I've got a readout of that machine running in the marketing infrastructure in the Technic UK business unit. So that's a quick run through of how a business service administrator would interact with the data center administrator to provision virtual machines using the self-service portal. I've been Andrew Fryer. Thank you very much for listening.